some things you'd expect to see at a non-league football club like Blythe Spartans. Adverts for local businesses, maybe builders, garages, pet shops and pubs. But then there's this, a travel firm promoting North Korea. Yep. That North Korea, the one with the missiles, Kim Jong-un and the internationally condemned human rights record. The clubs hit back after eyebrows were raised and the £250 advertising board got global attention. There's all kinds of detente going on all over the world at the minute, uh, trying to get North Korea on side. If we in our own little way can contribute to uh, bringing them into what we regard as the Western norms, I imagine the regime in Korea think their regime is the norm. If we can uh, do something to help that on the way, why not? Spartan supporters are now making their own spoof match reports after the tie-in with the travel firm, which is run by a football fan originally from the northeast. So in the local pub, where else, do the football faithful have any intention of heading to North Korea? I would like to go just to see it and just to make my own mind up. And we're not you know, uh, endorsing the, the North Korean government or, or its leader, it's just people going to visit that country. You know, Michael Palin's been, so why can't people from Black Book up to go? Are you going? I would like to go, actually. I want to engage with its people. My name is Michael. The club says Michael Palin's recent Channel 5 documentary did help pique their interest in the country. But for now, the government advice remains that you should avoid all but essential travel there. North Korea's tourist trade, it seems, is on something of a late kickoff. Peter Lane, 5 News.